dimly lit rooms on creaky wooden floors amidst hushed whispers. There's an object that has held generations in its thrall. A board marked with letters, numbers, and a simple yes or no. At the center, a planchette glides, seemingly of its own accord. This is the Ouija board, a tool of intrigue, excitement, and for some, trepidation. But what lies behind its enigmatic allure? Is it mere child's play or a conduit to realms unseen? Origins of the board trace back to 19th century America, a time when spiritualism, communication with the deceased, had gripped the nation. Chances were in vogue, and mediums claimed to bridge the living and the departed. The Ouija board, marketed as a wonderful talking board, promised direct communication without the need for a spiritual intermediary. But how did a parlor game gain such a reputation? While many recount evenings of harmless fun, where the board spelled out playful, even gibberish messages, others recall experiences less easy to dismiss. Stories of accurate, unforeseen predictions, or messages from departed loved ones that only they could know. Skeptics argue that these occurrences can be explained by the ideomotor effect, where individuals make motions unconsciously. Could it be that the fingers on the planchette, subtly and unknowingly, are driven by the user's own thoughts or desires? But then, there are those tales that defy easy explanation. Tales of boards spelling out ancient languages, of dark predictions coming true, and of rooms growing cold with an inexplicable presence. There are those who believe that, in using the board, one opens a doorway, and not always can one control what steps through. It's worth noting that various cultures have their own versions of spirit communication tools, each with its unique set of rituals and beliefs. And with them come warnings. Countless spiritual leaders and paranormal investigators caution against the casual use of the Ouija, not because of the board itself, but because of the intent behind its use. Could it be that in seeking the unknown, we sometimes invite energies or entities beyond our understanding? Scientifically, there's yet to be concrete evidence of the Ouija board's ability to communicate with the beyond. Many of the chilling tales could be chalked up to heightened emotions, suggestion, or even hoaxes. Yet, the board's mystique persists, perhaps because of humanity's eternal quest to understand the great beyond. As with all things mysterious, the truth about the Ouija board lies somewhere in the shadows, balancing on the tightrope between belief and skepticism. Whether one views it as a conduit to the other side or dismisses it as mere play, one thing is certain. The Ouija board, with its simple design, continues to be a mirror, reflecting our deepest fears, hopes, and the eternal human curiosity about what lies beyond the veil of the known. So, the next time you find yourself in a dimly lit room, with the board and planchette before you, ask yourself, are you ready to seek answers? And more importantly, are you prepared for what might respond?